Hey guys, what's going on? Turbo here with a game called Abatron. It's like the Swedish band Abba, mixed with Tron for Abatron. So yeah, uh, bad jokes aside, this is a game that's still currently really, really, really early access. And uh, I was invited to play the most alphaist of alphas I will probably ever play. So what is Abatron? It is, first and foremost, an RTS game, a real-time strategy, but it's also a first-person shooter. So yes, I was curious, and hell yes, I wanted to play. Um, it seems there's nobody else at all playing it, or maybe I'm just in the most alpha -y version of the game. There is a free demo to play, which I, I don't know the difference between this and the version of the game that I've been invited to and given a key for. So I'm, I'm at a loss. I've been given absolutely no information, but it seems to be different to the demo that you guys can play. So thanks to W3 Studios, the creator of the game, for sending me a key in order to play this. It's not a sponsored video, but they're giving me the key for free. So just full disclosure. So this is the base you start out with. And that's a drone. So here is the first person shooter aspect of the game. You can take over some, but not all it seems, of the units. Now taking over a unit usually gives it more HP and obviously you get to control it and use special powers that the AI characters don't always use, but sometimes do. And like other RTS games before, you can get experience points from fighting and then unlock extra abilities. And then there's a ranking system, but it's not it's not particularly uh, finished yet by the looks of things, you just seem to get more and more powerful as you go. So as long as you don't die in first person, you uh, can just keep using the character. Which does seem a little bit OP, considering all the extra damage you get to do and whatnot, but... Hopefully, when you play against players, it spices things up a little bit. So this is a deploying thing over here, I'm going to put a waypoint for the flags for the characters to run over to here. So yeah, tooltips. you got to love those tooltips. So I'm going to create a couple of shooting characters here. So I don't know what any of this means. Texture streaming pool. Uh, the game doesn't run particularly well, guys. I will I will tell you that. I've tried running an SLI. I've tried with running just one GTX 1080. It is not very well optimized. During battles of maybe 60 characters max, I was getting 20 FPS. It does not run very well at all. Uh, at the moment, 60 FPS. So here's another character in first person. Well, third person, technically. There seems to be a first person, but I haven't actually managed to get the key to work. So I don't know whether you just can turn this alpha or, or what. I don't know. It seems to be third person. But still pretty cool. Definitely unusual. I can't say I've seen any other first, um, any other RTS games using first person things. So let's move these characters down here. So those icons at the top of the screen, which you now can't see, but anyway, um, are the resources in the game. Now, they just generate from little buildings that you deploy. So not incredibly in-depth there. You've got six positions, so you can have two of each one or one of each one and then, you know, whatever you want to do with the spare slots. So I'm going to kill these critters here so I can level up a little bit. So my health is the green bar, experience is that blue bar filling up right there. Q will do a special attack. Once I've killed some of these critters. So yeah, experience increase. One thing I already don't like about the game, apart from it not running very well sometimes, is that woman in the background. It's just a horrible sound effect, and it's every few moments just something like, EXPERIENCE POINTS GOING UP! Uh, a new ability unlocked! Ultimate ability unlocked! Your base is under attack, and if your base is under attack, it will keep repeating bases under attack ad nauseum every five seconds. Also, a bit of a dislike, uh, it must be said. So, there was a waiting period there for me to eventually use the first person, or third person in this case, option again. So that ship is still building some buildings I have deployed. And it looks like critters are coming, and yes, base under attack. So those are laser orbs on the wall there that make short work of light enemies. Base under attack, yeah, I know, I can see.
Thank God he's run away because I don't want to hear that every five or six seconds. Right, let's move these guys back. So, what do I like? Uh, the art style is really nice. The idea of merging the two genres of RTS and FPS is quite an intriguing one. They've kept the resource gathering quite simple. And base is under attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, she's not going to say it again. Fair enough. So, I'm going to replace these turrets with more powerful ones as I can. Um, yeah, I've got the resources for that. Yeah. So if I put it on this wall here, we have a better specialist ground turret being made. Now, it seems the AI never, ever uses these. I don't know why. They just always use lasers and they make a lot of them. It seems. The AI is another thing in the alpha at the moment that's weird. They're either really, really, really good or incredibly stupid. This round, I kid you not, I will cut it down. Um, this round I stopped at 35 minutes of recording because I was like, no one's going to want to watch a 35 minute video. Guess how long the round carried on for? Two and a half hours. And you're probably thinking, well, what happened? Well, <laughs> I will let you know. The AI of, of this match, at least, was so incredibly good that we just kept... We just got into a stalemate of... They'd build a big army, I'd build a big army, I'd go to attack them, they'd go to attack me, we'd die in the middle, and then the same thing over and over and over, and I was just like, we're not we're not getting anywhere. Oh, I couldn't deploy the flag then for some reason. Unlike a few RTS games where you can put down a waypoint flag in advance while the building's being built, apparently you can't do that. Um, ah yes, there's, there's more critters coming. So this is the map. Oh, so it's it's floating. Kind of not really textured at the bottom. <laughs> Bit weird. It's like we're fighting on a asteroid, kind of. So here's the enemy base. They're already building a bit of an army. And they're already trying to build some more walls. So yeah, this first AI that I was fighting and I decided to record with, they just kept building walls over and over and over. Not just walls, but with the turrets on top. So it was nigh on impossible to actually get any headway. Just gonna have a look inside the ship. Hello, anyone home? Nope. So he's now building what you would probably call a siege factory. Yeah, what she said. Rocket bellies, because they hold a rocket launcher near their belly <laughs> and then fire, long range. So, waypoint over here. Alright, he's finished building that. Uh, we haven't got a vast amount of resources, but I can build four. So at the moment, I've got three of the green icon um, resource gathering things going, one of the blue and one of the pinky purple one. So one's energy points, one's mana points, and the other is uh, dark matter or dark energy. Not enough resources, so I need more of the green one. I Wait, I have that amount. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it doesn't catch up. So that's the queen, which is just like a random third party in, in the battle. You can fight her and then you get to control her but she's not particularly good she seems almost pointless the only good thing she has is if you take her over while she's got a lot of these little offsprings around it'll start attacking whoever then attacks the queen but again they're so weak that it's it's neither here nor there you're better off building your own units in my opinion at least at this stage it is really early access alpha we should expect problems and things that need tweaking So there's one of the rocket bellies. If we move on down here, we might be able to get some experience points and make our soldiers better. So it seems the AI's pathfinding has left a little bit to be desired here and they've all got stuck in crevices. <laughs> so the secondary attack of the rocket bellies is to sort of squirt acid everywhere. 
This may be a bit more difficult than we anticipated. There, is, oh my god, there is a lot of extra critters coming in. Yeah, I think we're nearly all dead. It's like Starship Troopers all over again, except I'm not winning. <laughs> And are all kind of stuck in the crevice with the rest of them. And... <laughs> We're dead. We're all dead. They may now choose to attack the base, but... From the minimap they aren't moving, but let's get some extra... Extra strong turrets up here. It seems when you delete something, you don't actually get the points back for it, so be aware if you do play it. Possibly the version you're playing, that'll be the same case for you. Oh no, here they come. Under <laughs> that was, that was short-lived. Oh god, I've made a double rocket belly monster thing. A lot of spew, acidic goo. Lovely. Right, where are we? Let's get some... Um, what can we build? Build another one of the shooter creatures. I have an objective to use my charge ability. I don't know what objectives do, whether they give you extra experience points or anything, but sometimes they're really, really simple, like press this key, use this ability. Objective, objective complete. Oh, build this building. Objective complete. It's just really, really simple things. I, I, I don't know if it serves a purpose. I've not noticed any extra experience points or anything. Just waiting for a few resources to gather before we move on. So that's the Dark Matter Collector, we'll get rid of that, and we need more blue stuff. Come over here, build. Please. Hello? Yes, there you go. It's not, it's not supposed to spin around like that, I don't think. <laughs> There's one thing you find about this... Oh god, image missing, sad face. There's one thing you notice about this game really quickly, is the AI. Is just either completely retarded and pathfinds like the well, a retard. <laughs> Pathfinding is so bad in this game. You'll send a bunch of units across the map just to find the majority of them have got stuck. Which isn't unusual for RTS games, but is really bad in this one. Okay, now he's kind of vibrating. A dark energy collector captures dark energy to use as a resource. Required for advanced energy Okay, is he gonna build that one now? Might get there eventually. I'm gonna build up a little bit of an army. But before I send anything away, I want to get as many reinforced turrets as I can. Queenie's Queenie's back! All right, so use this ability. Objective complete. Was there any bonus XP? Didn't didn't seem like there was. Build a thrasher. Build one unit from one building. <laughs> I really, yeah, they really need to increase the um, possibilities with the objectives. No, they're just they're sat in the crevice doing absolutely nothing. Oh, here come his friends. That was my special, that's really useful for getting rid of, well, almost everything. There is a, there's a few. <laughs> this, this could be interesting. I don't know if they just keep respawning there or if they've all moved up when I wasn't looking. So we are slowly leveling up our character. I don't know if this affects all units, or just this specific one when I leave his body, as it were.
it's slow going. It is not the most fast-paced building or fighting RTS game. It's a little bit different. It's got potential. The potential is there. It's just kind of got a lot wrong with it at the moment. Okay, now we're firing a, we're firing a bit faster now. So this character is now, what, level 7? Is that what that is? Nice. Right, maybe we could take over the queen in a second, then you can see what that's like. Kind of pointless, but... It's an extra unit you didn't have to pay for. Here she comes. Oh, she can jump. Just, uh, not far enough. I'm coming, guys! Backup is here. Uh, queen is coming. Uh, the queen is going. She doesn't know whether she's coming or going. What was that? Oh, I think... Uh, oh, we have the queen. She just jumped to me. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can't shoot her. She's on our side now. What about the offspring, though? No, they're not. They've, they've not been swayed by the, the new queen. Right, well, let's mop up the rest of these guys. Get some free easy XP. Nice. All right, let's get everyone back to the towards the base. Um, we've kind of got the beginnings of an army starting. Let's get some more of these guys. Uh, I need to build a thrasher, so let's get a few of them. They are most powerful melee units, so it's, it's worth having a few of them, if for nothing else other than slowing down other units. Some more turrets. Ah, as you can see, they're um, already working on a slightly significantly larger army than me, and they've got two walls extra and eight more turrets. But my turrets are better. They're expensive as all hell, but they're better. Right, yeah, we're probably about half the size of their army, so we're probably not going to do too well. Although we do have the Queen whenever she decides to join us. I think she's probably got stuck. Um, I can do that. I'll get rid of something in a minute. Yep, the Queen got stuck. She's trying to go straight up a cliff. The Critter Queen. Oh, that's how you do the um, extra options. So yeah, if you jump out of a character before you die, you don't get the cooldown, it seems. So which one of these guys was getting all the experience points? Um... <laughs> I'll not click on each one until I find them. Come on, Queen! Once I've got enough turrets, I will probably change a few things down here. Get one more row of them. Now we've got a reasonable army coming along now. We could probably make an attack. 
Yeah, when you delete things, it also says your base is under attack, which is just obviously all kinds of stupid because you were the one responsible for removing a building. Dark matter is barely used in the alpha. Barely. Like, that is the most expensive thing to keep making those units at 100 dark matter apiece. You really don't need more than one dark matter resource gathering thing. Oh, sorry, there's five positions for the resource gathering, so you could have one of each and then mix and match whatever you need the most. Generally speaking, you want three green ones and then one blue one and one dark matter. But depending on what you're doing, if you're building a an army really quick, you could have just like exclusively green ones and one blue one, etc, etc. Don't know whether to build another wall or not. I may as well. Because if you attack with a big army, usually you get attacked straight afterwards. So we'll get that weird crab thing making a wall. Come on, come on, come on. We'll make the most defended base possible. Let's check on the enemy again. So there's no fog of war either in the game, which is again kind of unusual, but maybe that's something to get added in later, or maybe they don't want it. Who knows? I still think their army is stronger than mine. But I think my base is better defended. It's getting there. So if you're still with me, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And hopefully this gives you an idea of how the game's coming along. Like I say, there is a demo of the game on Steam, which is different to what I'm playing, I believe, slightly. And I haven't tried the, the demo, so I don't know what the difference will be. But the demo is free, so why not check it out? Oh yeah, here's another bug that I could talk about. <laughs> well, it's not a bug, but again, another weird design choice that I do not like is you can only select up to 30 units at once. And that has been cut off mid-sentence, so I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, group. Assign a group for recall. Select multiple groups. So you can make groups. Okay, we could try that, so maybe we can make some... We have to make separate groups of 30, but at least to be able to make some groups. Um, no? Doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to be making a group. Alright, where's the enemy? Well, if we meet up about... here... Yeah, if we, if we get everybody over there... Then I can move everybody in groups at a time. So yeah, I don't think I've ever played an RTS game where you were limited to the amount of troops that you you could select. Seems a little bit weird to me. But given the game stats to get really, really bad FPS-wise, that was probably an aesthetic choice to make sure that you didn't move a large army at once and then gave yourself 10 FPS, because that would suck. But at the same time, it it's, doesn't feel right at all. So let's get an, an army being made after this other army gets wiped out, because if I remember correctly, that's exactly what happened to us. Also, you can't rotate the map either. Again, which feels kind of weird, because just about every other RTS game, you can at least pan the camera around in four stages. But this one, nope. Not even a key for it. You can zoom in and out a little bit. That's, that's your lot. 
Okay, the first thing we're probably going to have to do is try and get these walls down to destroy all the turrets at once. But bizarrely, it seems the enemy lasers do more damage than yours do. Now, everyone should be attacking the wall. I've seen like 10 of their units attack a wall and destroy it. Yep, we got rid of that in shot. Oh god. Oh god, the uh, 20, 18, the 18, 19 FPS. The FPS is slowly going back up again because my units are dying. <laughs> Go on, guys, destroy this wall. You can do it. No, maybe you can't. See, we're, we're barely damaging it. Yeah, we're not going to live to tell the tale on this one. Come on, guys, come on. Damn. We got wiped out. Apparently, I have six units left. Where are they? We just got absolutely hammered. Oh, there's the queen. Apparently, I've got six units somewhere? What the fuck? I don't even know. I'm just going to send the queen in there. She barely does anything. She'll probably die within probably two seconds. Off you go. Come attack these guys for fun. Today. Hello. Come on. She don't want to do anything. There's no new critters. Well, our army is slowly being rebuilt again. Probably going to attack us in a minute. Maybe. Just maybe. Come on. One more turret. There we go. So now we've got a full set. So we'll get rid of that. Get a... Objective completed, done. We do need a lot more of the blue mana. Because we're running out. Try and move the queen again. Is she going to do it? Oh, there we go. So you can't click on a unit to attack them. But she'll attack them if you put... <laughs> if you put her in the middle of them. How bizarre. Oh, I think my units are in the cliff over here. Because those lasers are shooting something. So yes, more wonderful uh, AI interactions and uh, map clipping. <laughs> oh? Oh, I think they found the way out. Oh no, this is no, this is the critters coming. These aren't mine. Mine may have been there though. Oh, I don't really want to move these guys in an army yet. We'll get some artillery. Not that they seem to do a right lot. No, I can afford to make a lot more of them, and I'll just keep getting these guys out. I've got a lot of melee characters now, a lot of shooting characters, and oh, they're mounting an attack. There is a lot of them coming. Um, this could be interesting. Okay, what we got? What we got? What we got? Um. I have to build a new drone to build some more walls, I think. Uh, here they come. I'm going to try and keep near my turrets. Are they coming or what? Oh god, here they come. Come on, guys, hold the line. Oh, 
Oh, there's a new queen. And now everybody just stands still and shoots each other. I know the base is under attack. I am right here. I'm looking. And technically the base isn't under attack at the moment. Technically. We're holding them back and they're just because the wall drones are shooting them. That apparently classes as our base. Um, I could probably help this battle. But I'm going to get this wall done first. Go build that little dude. Come on, guys. Wow, they've got a lot of artillery. Focus fire. They're just out of range of the base. That's kind of annoying. Wow, we're getting wiped out. It just seems like their units are more powerful than mine, even though they're exactly the same. Mine didn't last that long. Are they just are they just gonna hold there? At least look, even, even the AI has um, got problems with AI not pathfinding. <laughs> Well, we've not been overrun yet, so that's good. Since these artillery things are so amazing. I will build some more. We do need more of the dark matter, but... I don't really want to sacrifice any of the other things, because I need them. They're already building an army. Again. This is crazy. Got two everything. More walls, more turrets. It's just gonna be the longest stalemate ever. Ace under attack. It'll be like that versus round that me and Video Maker Guy did in that collaboration where we just kept chipping away at each other but never got anywhere for the best part of about 40 minutes. We can do this, though. We can show off the alpha and have a good time. Can we? I hope so. At the moment, everything's just getting really, really dragged out. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Crap, 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 crap. You're going straight for the walls. Yeah. Take this guy over. Oh, I'm getting hammered. So yeah, as you can tell, when you take over a unit, you make them probably ten times more powerful than they actually are. It does seem a little OP. Oh, well, I made short work of them. Should switch to first person, uh, well, third person, more often. Right, let's get everyone back over here. Can't believe they took a wall out already. It's a good job I built that extra wall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, this is so slow. It does seem like you can unlock another resource gathering um, building thing. So presumably you could increase your profitability. Oh yeah, I need to move all the 
over 30 characters. Alright, let's kill these guys. Make life work of them. Since I've not played proper multiplayer, guys, I don't know what it's like going up against another player, whether it becomes really obvious which unit's actually controlled by a player, whether they get a name or if they get highlighted. I don't know anything about that. Because it would seem either nobody else is playing it, or perhaps the servers are down at the time of this recording. But as I said, this recording is in the future, so... Um, at this point, I decided I would probably stop recording because it had already been 35 minutes and I stopped and then proceeded to carry on playing. Like I said, for another two hours trying to defeat the AI and we just had this stalemate of just constantly the same over and over again. Which was, uh, needless to say, not particularly fun. So, um, something weird happened. I started off a new game and this AI was completely retarded and just kept sending two units at a time all the way up to my base. Over and over. And so my turrets would just shoot them as soon as they got up here. Because there was plenty of them. So I had to listen to base under attack every uh, six seconds because they just kept sending two melee characters. Over and over, as soon as they made them, like the waypoint was up at my base or something, just constantly. I'm not sure what that was about, but it was really irritating. And eventually, I sent my forces in. And I figured out that with the extra health and extra damage you do, you can actually make quite short work of these walls if you're quick enough. Defeating the walls also instantly kills all the turrets. And there was something interesting that I didn't know happened. Once you have your units quite close to the enemy base, the actual base itself sends out an energy pulse, or like an energy wave, that damages your units. So not only is it tough as hell, to get into the AI base sometimes, or most of the time that I've seen so far, as soon as you get in there, you could be very quickly be annihilated. So it does seem like the difficulty of the game is really damn high. I don't know if that's intentional or I've just been really unlucky with the levels that I was playing. But it does seem crazy OP. Except for this AI that was really really dumb but like I say the energy pulse when you get in there slowly damaging all your units doesn't make it any easier I decided to blow these guys off and to start actually causing some damage but there you go energy pulse energy pulse dead <laughs> and if you're not quick enough they'll just start rebuilding all their walls and defenses usually it's, um, I don't know. I, I, I want to like the game, but there's so many things wrong with it at this stage that I probably won't be playing it anymore. Because it's just, it's just way too frustrating. But again, it's early access, like really early alpha access, so it's got plenty of time to improve if the, if the dev manages to do so. I will give them some feedback from uh, what I saw so far, and obviously link them to the video so they can see the experience because there doesn't seem to be a lot of people talking on the forums about their experiences so far other than where is everybody the multiplayer doesn't work <laughs> but presumably because you can have up to uh, six AI you can have six player combat on these maps three versus three or free for all it could be really really interesting I'm hoping to see some actual multiplayer at some stage that's probably the only time that i'll do another recording guys if you've been enjoying this so far at least is some actual multiplayer to see how that plays out 
Right, I think I've got enough of an army now to send. And they're still sending two units at a time. Constantly. So it would seem, unless the AI was just bonkers, that you have a chance of either a tough AI, or an easy AI, or a stupid AI, or a hardcore AI. There doesn't, there doesn't uh, seem to be any difficulty options when I was setting the game up. But look at look how long just one of their units lives for. And mine seems to drop like flies. I think we should just ignore these guys and plow through, to be honest. Alright, let's bring some more dudes down. Hopefully they'll pathfind all the way there. Go on guys, push forward. God, selecting thing again. Just come on, just ignore him, just come running through. Get down here. I'll take one over, um, this one. We'll get rid of their buildings. Oh, God, down. And here comes the pulse. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'm not firing. Now I'm firing. Oh crap. Come on. Just need to. Quick. Uh, one with health. Get rid of the last building and they can't make any more units. At least not from this one. Crap. And there goes my last one. And they're building a wall, god damn it. Okay, I've got some spare units that haven't managed to join us. Come on guys, come to Stop building walls, god damn it. They haven't even got a drone ready to put them up. For god's sake, come on. Get in there. Alright, we're nearly at the end of the video, guys. We're nearly there. I did eventually accomplish the unaccomplishable. I'm just going to keep these making units just in case we screw up again. Come on, you two as well. Get down here. Bring this dude as well. Level 1 kills 11. It seems all the characters have 11 kills. I don't know how that happens. It's probably a bug. Alright, if we get these guys in here, I'll take one of them over. Just keep away from that energy pulse. Why is, why is that one sneaking? That one sneaking and attacking. I, I, I don't even know. Alright guys. Move in and attack the crap out of that thing. Let's do him. The ship's building something. Why can't I fire? There we go. Oh my god. Two hours, 45 minutes later... We finally accomplished something, and what is that unit doing? Uh, apparently that's some kind of mating ritual or, or something. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. Um, oh, apparently I can still fire. I can fire and look around and move around. <laughs> but that moves the camera as well. <laughs> so, so I learned how to bunny hop. Yeah, I can even use my special. It's a little bit um, weird. Okay, fair enough. 
It must not deactivate the spectator camera at the end. Let's rush over here. <laughs> well, that was a bit of Abatron, guys. What do you think? It's early access. Could be worse. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope to God you enjoyed it because I put so much time into it. And if you're wondering what to watch next, then do check out the videos. They're about to pop on your screen. There you go. Two more videos you could possibly enjoy. And I'll see you guys real soon.